What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. That's right. The weekend is officially starting. There's a lot going on this weekend. Um, in my area, uh, one of the one of the big things going on this weekend is uh, Fanboy up in Knoxville. And I know that Foxy Faux Real is going to be there. Josh Pence is going to be there. Uh, there's going to be a few others there. Um, it's going to be big. It's, um, I personally have never been to it. But uh, from what I've seen, read, heard, it's pretty much the, uh, the event to go to in my area. The uh, problem is... I'm not going to be there. That's right. You heard it. Greg Cook. Greg Cook Photography. Crazy bald guy that photographs figs is not going to make it to Fanboy. Am I sad? In a way, yes. But there's a good reason why I'm not going to be a Fanboy. Um... I think I've mentioned this before. I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but in case I haven't. So I've been married to the same woman for 23 years. 24 years, March of 2018. And she has supported me in everything that I've ever wanted to do. She's never said no to me. She's been my, yeah, she's been my number one fan for my whole 23 years of marriage. Um, I competitively raced RC cars for 10 years. I was on a competitive sponsored paintball team for about six years. Uh, going back to the RC stuff, I actually finished ninth in the nation uh, in my class the last year I raced, which is really cool. And she's always been there. She's she has spent 12 hours in the sun uh, at, a, at a track. She has spent a weekend in an arena for paintball. And she has never complained. She's never done any of that. So one of the things my wife truly, truly loves is wine. Uh, I, I personally consider her a wine connoisseur. She... She knows wine. She loves wine. We've actually made wine. Uh, so in Chattanooga this weekend, they're having an event called Wine Over Water, and it it's huge. Um, it's almost like a, a little mini festival. It goes on for like three days, I think. Uh, but the big event is they take the Walnut Street Bridge, which if you've ever been to Chattanooga, the Walnut Street Bridge actually used to be a, a traffic bridge and they've converted it to a pedestrian bridge so you can walk it run it walk your dog ride a bicycles rollerblades skateboard it's all pedestrian traffic it goes over the tennessee river uh it's actually really cool but they convert the whole bridge uh into this line event from one end to the other and i think there's over a hundred uh vendors, companies, restaurants, everything. But it's it's really a nice event. So she didn't get to go last year. She asked me about it this year. And uh, even though I'd already planned to go to Fanboy, I just said, you know, we're going to go to Wine Over Water. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow afternoon, uh, we've got a hotel. We're going to stay in Chattanooga tomorrow night. We're just going to go out and have fun tomorrow. Sunday, my uh, granddaughter's birthday, uh, Jasmine. She was actually in one of my videos about uh, doing crafts and stuff. So uh, it's her birthday. We're having a tea party. That's right, a tea party. Tea parties are awesome. If you've never had a tea party, you need to do a tea party. They're great. Tea party. But anyway, so that's Sunday. So I'm not going to have a lot of time to do much fig hunting this weekend. Uh, I'm not going to have... I don't even think I'm going to have time to photograph any figs this weekend. However, 
I am going to try to do a little fig hunting either. I might try to do some this afternoon on the way home from work. I might just stop by Walmart. I got to get some uh, fuel for the lawnmower. It's going to mow my yard. And uh, right there at Walmart, they got gas pumps. So guess what? Walmart. Get gas. Um, then tomorrow morning, uh, I've got to run, take care of an appointment first thing in the morning. And Toys R Us is right there as always. So I'll probably hit Toys R Us. So it'll probably be a short hunt video this weekend but I'll at least try to get something out for uh, for all my uh, subscribers and hopefully future subscribers uh, I've been really uh, pleased with the, uh, the amount of people that I have so far it's over 60 I think maybe even close to 70 I'm, I'm shocked um, I'm, I'm happy but wow I never would have dreamed when I started this 25 videos ago or episodes ago. But anyway, I'm heading down I-75. Looks like I've got a pretty clear uh, line of traffic that's not going to be hindering my speed. And hopefully you'll see me at Walmart here in a minute or two or actually 20 minutes. But it'll seem like, like that when I come back. So anyway, See you guys at Walmart. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the clearance aisle. We got the 40th anniversaries, 15 bucks. Still got a few of those left. Come on down here. 22 bucks, 22 50. Quite a few of these as well, so let's go ahead and head over to the toy All right, Star Wars. I've seen a lot of new stuff. Kylo. That is pissed off face. Bunch of baiters. That's all I'm seeing here. Come on down to the pops. Not a lot in the pops section. It's actually pretty empty compared to what it was last time I was here. They, they do have this Brito Hammerhead and Wars Man, but it's actually pretty empty. Come on down here to Multiverse, King Shark, Thirtieth Anniversary Batman. Still a pretty cool fig right there. Hawkman, Justice League. Star Lord, Just the Jones, Nova, Daredevil, Punisher, another Jessica, another Star Lord, Electra, Electra, Bullseye, Bullseye. Still got quite a few of these. Loki. He's got this two pack. Still, still 40 bucks. For all the wrestling fans. Triple H. There's the man right there, Stone Cold. Transformers. Oh, 
not a whole lot of transformers. All right, guys. Well, that's about it. Let's see what I can get. Hey, what's up, everybody? All right, so I just left Walmart. Um, as far as the actual fig aisle, I didn't really see anything there that uh, just jumped out at me. But then I decided, I actually went there first, but I went over to the clearance section. Um, they had all the 40th Darth Vader's for uh, 15 bucks. And they also had uh, the Land Speeder and um, Ray's vehicle. They had those for $22.50. Um, so they had them on clearance um, from $39 to $22.50. So yeah, so... Uh, like I said, I didn't find nothing in the uh, actual fig aisle, but I did not leave empty-handed. So I got the uh, I got Luke's land speeder for twenty-two fifty. Not a bad uh, not a bad price. So at first I wasn't really going to pick this thing up, but uh, you know for $22.50, why not? Basically the price of a fig. Can't uh, can't really, pra pra uh, can't talk, pass that up. So anyway, that's the end for today's uh, after work hunt on Friday. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna go to Toys R Us in the morning and I will see you tomorrow, later. Good morning, everyone. Cloudy Saturday morning. Just wrapped up my uh, appointment for the day. Got my uh, to-do list from the wife for my granddaughter's birthday party on Sunday. Now I've got a little bit of time to uh, head over to uh, a couple of spots. I'm a little early, so I'm gonna head over to Target before I go to Toys R Us. So I've got about 30 minutes to kill before to uh, Toys R Us opens. So I'm gonna head over to Target, see what I can find. As always, for the last couple of uh, videos, I'm not really looking for, you know, anything in particular. I'm just, uh, just out looking to see if I can find something to uh, photograph. Um, hope everybody that is attending fanboy today is having a great time um like i said yesterday i really wish uh i could have made it uh, for a couple of reasons number one i've never been number two uh to finally you know shake hands and uh with josh pence and foxy faux real um but hey you know Things happen for reasons, and this weekend is all about family, like I said yesterday. And family is more important than figs at the end of the day. So, anyway, going to Target and going to see what they've got. Never know. And then, Toys R Us. So, I will uh, grab some footage inside Target, so I will see you there.
Hey guys, leaving Target. Um, didn't have nothing there. Looks like they were doing a restock, but I didn't see nothing in the boxes that jumped out at me. Didn't see nothing on the shelves. So now it's on to Toys R Us. See you there. All right, guys, we're at Toys R Us. Some DC first. That man. It's like pretty much the same stuff, nothing. Still got a bunch of this, this wave here. King Shark wave. Dead shot, one one. Transformers. There's Megatron again. really seeing, like I said, I don't do the uh, Transformers or the Voltrons. The Voltrons are pretty cool. I'll make him back off. <laughs> Hold it right there. You yeah, always got to push the buttons. Let's go look at some uh, Star Wars. <clears throat> All right. Still got a ton of these grees. There's 10, 15 grees. Sergeant Jim Ursovers. Pretty much same same stuff. Right, let's go around the corner here. Walmart, 15 bucks. Three and three quarter. Not really, not really into the three and three quarter, but I'll show you guys what my toys guys has. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Let's go find some legends. All right, what do we got for legends? Uh, got the three pack. Still got a bunch of these uh, five pack guardians. Spider Man, Nova, Star Lord, Doctor Strange, Loki. Really seen. Anything that's jumping out at me, legends wise. To the door. Alright, let's go uh let's go find some NECA. Alright, NECA. Let's see what we got. Action figure headstands. That's that's pretty cool. Oh, Prometheus, Aliens. Aliens, Prometheus. Once upon a time, not into it, but it's pretty good. Got the uh, Aliens Arsenal accessory set, which is it's pretty cool. Creature pack, Gotham, Zombie, got the Pulp Fiction. We got all of these here. Yep. Here's the uh, Bruce Willis. Looks pretty cool. Samuel. So, yeah. I'm not sure if I'm going to pull the trigger on that or not, though. Got Chucky. Chucky. Pretty cool. Show you some of the pops. Um, I was actually here with another collector and he actually went through all the pops. So I was standing here with him when he did it. So I'm not gonna go through them all. I'm just gonna show you what they've got here. They actually have some more down here that uh, 
we pointed out they got some of these all convention exclusives the only thing they've got though is uh destro the boxes are really really that one's not too terribly bad but that's all they've got for the uh new york comic con on those all right guys i'm gonna go see what else i can find not sure if i'm gonna pick anything up or not because nothing really jumped out at me so i'll see you in a bit got some more marvel stuff over here if we're gonna show you guys some justice league stuff down here king shark Steppenwolf, got a dinosaur, Batman, Batman, Superman, just like they had the whole Steppenwolf wave, but uh, that's pretty much it, see you guys in a little bit. Hey, what's up everybody, alright, so I just left Toys R Us, and they've done definitely done some rearranging in there, um, Things were a lot cleaner than normal, but um, I didn't really see anything that really jumped out at me. Um, the only thing I really was sort of interested in was that Pulp Fiction wave. They had uh, all three of the main characters in it. Uh, you know, the Bruce Willis and Samuel Jackson looked good. Don't get me wrong. I just, uh, and the price wasn't bad. It's uh, $14, $14.99 a piece. So uh, I thought about it, but you know I've got I've got a coupon for Toys R Us. It's good through November, so I didn't want to use it at the moment. So I didn't pick nothing up at Toys R Us. So right now I'm actually going over to Barnes and Noble, which I'm pulling in right now. I haven't been to Barnes and Noble in a while, and uh, one of my buddies that was uh, over here going through the pops, he was telling me that. Um, he saw a uh, Hulk over here at Boys, uh, Boys R Us, Barnes and Noble, on the for sale table. So I figured I'd run over here real quick, see what they got. I might try to do some footage of the character box. I know I've tried uh, once before and they were closed, but they do have a fig in there, uh, a Leonidas fig that I'm sort of digging it. So let's go into Bo uh, damn Boys R Us. Why have I got Boys R Us on the brain? Barnes and Noble. I'll see you inside. Hmm. Uh, I got some Star Wars stuff. Bandai. I got some of these. They're really, 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 really cool. Batman. It's pretty cool looking. Marvel Legends. Joker. That is really a cool, cool head sculpt. Wobbles. Alright, I'm 
not. Oh, what do we got down here? Got him. Got this Batman, which is pretty cool. I see some more stuff over down here. Model kit. Not really into the model kits, but that's pretty cool. That's pretty neat. Oh no. Artifacts. These bad boys. See what I can come up with. Hey, what's up, everybody? Hamilton Place Mall, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Early morning. Most everything isn't open yet. Heading to the character box. See what's going on. See you there. All right. Show you the outside of the character box. Got some pretty cool stuff in there. But I'll show you the pops here to be when I go inside. And uh, we got some uh, pretty cool stuff. We do pops, a little bit of sideshow, course medals. Good. I like how they got the pops organized. So, alright guys, I'm gonna look around a little bit and see if I can come up with something. See you in a bit. Hey, what's up guys? Alright, so, um, went to Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble had actually a really good sale going on, 50% off. Uh, had a few DC icons there, had Superman, you know, nothing just really jumped out at me. Um, had some other stuff, some uh, art FX stuff, some statues, a few pops that were on sale, but again, it was a good sale, don't get me wrong, just nothing that I particularly uh, needed, wanted, or wanted to photograph. Um, I then went over to the character box, which was really cool because in one of my other videos, you got to see me film from the outside, but it never opened. So this time I actually able to get some footage from inside the shop and it's really a pretty cool shop. Um, they have some unusual things there. They do have some sideshow stuff there. They got pops there. They got, uh, S8 figure arts, uh, the list goes on. Um, there was one fig there that I looked at that I was wanting um, 
the Leonidas from 300 uh, is made by Figma. Um, I was really wanting to buy it there because there I actually had him got him to uh, get it out of the case so I could look at it and just sort of envision what I wanted to do with it, especially with that diorama that I built in the last video with the uh, paver mix and the rock. I, I think that Leonidas would really look good with it. Um, I did not pick it up and I was really sad not to pick it up, but unfortunately he, they wanted a hundred bucks for it and I can order that same fig online for 50 bucks. So as much as I want to support a local shop and I think we all need to support local shops. I just can't I just can't justify paying that extra 50 bucks so I had to walk away from it but at least I got to see it in hand which is cool so um, I'm actually back in Cleveland now I've got to go make another couple errands I picked up some uh, thumbprint cookies for my uh, granddaughter's birthday and I'm telling you guys right now if you've never had a thumbprint cookie it's gonna be really hard for me to open this box and not eat one. But I want to, uh, I want to show you guys thumbprint cookies. In the Village Bake Shop in Cleveland, Tennessee, it's been here since I think the '60s. Family-owned, family-run bake shop, and right there, thumbprint cookies. These things are amazing, and they're basically the size of your thumb. So. Yeah, Cleveland, Tennessee, Village Bake Shop, thumbprint cookies. You can't go wrong. And the bad thing about it is, now I can't get the box tape back up, and my wife's going to be like, how many did you eat? I'm like, I didn't eat none. So, Anyway, I do need to make a stop at Walgreens. I don't know if I'll shoot video in there, but i got to make a stop in Walgreens. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. See you in a little while. Walgreens, see what we got. There's the human torch everybody's been talking about. Mm. Another torch. Another torch. We've got a lot of torches. Namor. guys hey what's up everybody well I just left Walgreens and I'm bringing a sorry gas can slid back to back um, bringing a close to today's uh, hunt Walgreens they did have the, uh, the human torch in there uh, I actually had about four of them it was uh, it's not a bad looking fig. Um, it's not. It's not for me right now. So um, yeah, empty-handed, but that's okay. Had a good time. Got to uh, look for some figs, get some good footage for you guys. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope everyone that attended uh, Fanboy this weekend uh, enjoyed that. So yeah, I might do some footage of wine over water, but I don't know if I'm gonna like put it in with this one or not, but either way. But anyway, everybody, have a great weekend. Get out and enjoy yourself, your family, your friends. Smile a lot, laugh a lot, and just have some fun. So until next time, this is Greg, and I will uh, see you later. <laughs>